What's going on guys, the Ultimate Gamer 19 here, and I am back with The Sims 2 The Anderson Season 3. This is episode 104, or, or, or 105, uh, not too sure. But we're at the university students um, hustled in this episode, and I think we're still on a new cycle, aren't we? Yeah, because last episode we had Ariana's family, she had a baby. Um, so this episode, university students, and I, did, I made a lot of progress off camera. Um, before Ryan was still a junior, now he is a senior. Um, Brooke and Kylie are almost heading into their second quarter junior um, years. Uh, Tyler is in his junior year as well, and I got him all these skills. I pretty much grinded everybody's skills. You don't know what that means. Not the grinding, grinding, you know, just like rubbing against someone, but the grinding, like leveling up just over and over, over and over and over and over. It just took a lot of work, and uh, I actually played a lot off camera. So now um, I'm recording where I left off, and this episode we're going to have Tyler move out, finally have him drop out of college. I'm probably going to do that right now. So we're going to have him call um, college, and yeah, just have him move out. be on his own now and that is why I didn't include him in the thumbnail but he's still kind of in the intro at the moment but I'm gonna have to change that up a bit later on uh, let's see drop out campus directory oh, let's just drop out yeah okay drop uh, the college be an elected adult back in the home neighborhood this college has no continuing education programs for adults Tyler will never be able to return are you sure you want to do this if so a taxi will be here to pick Tyler up you'll find Tyler back in the primary yes that is right, he is now grown up. He's an adult now. He grew up well, so that's that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Bye-bye, Tyler. Go home now. They're like, bye-bye. But they're all up in his grill, so that way he can't like move or anything. So he's finally an adult. And I'll see you. I guess we'll see you later. And... Ariana's household, because I'm going to have a mood there. Alrighty, so, um, as you can see, since Brooke and Kylie are juniors now, they were given the opportunity to change their uh, lifetime aspiration thingy, like this thing. So Brooke is now, I believe she was a popularity sim before, so now she is a romance sim. And what I'm going to have to do with her is she's going to be the heartbreaker of this uh, Anderson legacy. So she's pretty much just going to be like a... What do you call it? A hoe? A, a whore? A slut? Um, sorry for my offensive language, but that's just my way of saying. I could say it in a more friendly way. She's a very over-friendly sim that just wants to love everyone. I could have said that, but uh, you know me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just kind of straightforward, straight up, you know. But yeah, that's what she's going to be. And Kylie, she, I believe, was a knowledge sim before. And I made her a fortune sim now. So she's going to be somewhat similar to Brooke's situation. She's going to be a gold digger. But she also wants to get her own money as well. So she's going to earn her own money. And she's also going to dig in some from some money. But you don't really find those types of sims around here. So yeah, she's just going to have to lay back on her own money. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to make these this twins are um lori i'm still not not sure not sure what she should be yet uh she's currently knowledge and ryan obviously i accidentally made him a romance sim so um yeah i, I don't know what to do with him i'm definitely not gonna make him a man hoe 
or an overfriendly man. Um, I really don't know what to do with him. I think I'll, I'll be making him a vampire because we don't really have any supernaturals at the moment and just we need some. We really do need some. Now that Tyler's gone, I just this household feels a lo lot smaller to me for some reason because there's only four Sims now. Um, so, yeah. So happy Saturday. Uh, really don't know what to do. Let's see. I always have plans. I just like made plans before I started recording this video, and then I forgot it again. What's up with me and my plans and not going so well? Anyways. I uh, just have to do whatever. Top of my comes out the top of my head. So since he's a senior, he he actually only has two quarters left. But each quarter is like 72 hours, and that's pretty much like three to four days in sim time, I think. Shouldn't be too long. So we're gonna have Kylie uh, call up Cole again because we really didn't do anything romantic with him. We went on a date before, I believe, right? So. We should go on another one because that last one wasn't too well. But where is he at? Oh, he's right there. Where's he at now? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, it's right there. But yeah, we're going to call him up again. And... Actually, I think we should throw a party. Mm. Oh, we can have uh, Kylie and Brooke join a fraternity. A Greek house. Uriel Oresha Chum House, Trevar House. I don't think I want to do that. Do I want to do what? Do I do I want to do that? I don't know. Um, you guys leave a comment in the comment section below if I should have Brooke and Kylie go to a fraternity because we've never been in a fraternity before, which is I think an all girls or an all boys type of a, a college house. We've never really gotten to that type of stuff. Uh, so just let me know if you guys think I should do that and see what it's like to be living in a fraternity and if we can probably go back to the dorm that'd be cool if if not then I don't know what to do I just want to go there temporarily if I don't like it I would rather just live move them over here but there may be a chance that they probably can't return not too sure never joined a fraternity never left a fraternity never did anything uh, I believe we should throw a party. We should throw another party, just another house party. Um, I don't like sports parties; they're just too small. So let's just invite some people over it for now. Let's throw a house party. All right, Lori's final exam will be in five hours, and then this guy named Patrick Sarter says, I'm sure you're busy, but I just thought I'd remind you to keep in touch every once in a while. I know it's sometimes it's tough, and I don't want our friendship to be a burden or anything, but you know, Ryan, just drop me a line sometime, just to chat. Oh, just to chat. You want to you wanna get it on with us, don't you? I'm just kidding. Uh, just joking, just joking. Well, we haven't seen Rochelle in a long time, so that, let's just invite her over just for the kicks. If she doesn't want to come, then she's a skank. She's a skank. Patrick Sarter. We always invite over family members, so we can do. Let's just mix it up a bit. One family member and one guy who wants to talk to us, quote unquote, talk to us. Uh, but that's okay. And we're not missing any guests, which is awesome, because they didn't tell us that. So let's just turn on the music here. Turn up. I remember saying that in my last episode, and I was just like, why did I say that? Alright, so our guests are here, and I believe he is a secret society member. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember him. Mushroom head. Like, literally, his hairstyle looks like a mushroom. Michelle's here, and she's, like, as evil as ever. Uh, but she will not be evil towards her ch children, because she already lost Josh. Doesn't want to lose her children, too. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys the storyline, because I don't know if some of you figured it out already, some of you haven't, or some of you have, but I'm just going to let you guys know right now. Rochelle is an evil witch, and during her reign as an evil witch, she hasn't been so evil as of late. Um, as of late. She hasn't been e that really evil, like she hasn't made her impact on the Andersons. 
Of course, maybe she could have, like, attacked people here and there, but it really didn't have any meaning to it. So, what I have her in a storyline, this is her last storyline before she dies and just out of the whole series, is uh, she's going to be summoning Courtney and Ethan Jexu. Yes, Courtney and Ethan are evil spirits that, yes, Michelle summoned. And what she wants to do with those two is just cause mischief around town and not only the Andersons, but just around the whole neighborhood. Uh, because Josh died, she just wanted vengeance somehow, and this is her way of just having a revenge. I don't know what she wants to do, but yeah. So that's her storyline. Um, what I'm planning to have t her to do later on after this goes on for a little bit is just have everyone maybe be a little bit hurt because we haven't been so hurt in a long time. I don't think there's been breakups and all of that, but that just is short lived and they forget it. They get over it really easily. So after a long period of time, Rochelle will cause mischief. Josh will be making a return. I'm sorry I'm spoiling this. But Josh will be making a return to just be here for a little bit, not too much. He's not going to be here regularly like he used to be. But he will be back um, just to tell Rochelle that what she's doing isn't, you know, right. And Rochelle will finally understand and finally live peacefully. She may also have the chance of turning into a good witch instead of a bad witch. So this, this idea is subject to change. is very tentative. Um... So don't always expect what I just say, said right now, because it may sound cool, but it might not be really cool. But who knows? So there's the storyline. I actually really wanted to get that off my chest because I just can't live without saying that. I can't live it. I can't live. This party is really bad right now <laughs> because Ryan is just like the he's the host of the party and he's not even doing anything for his guests. He's just like sleeping and his guests are just like, whoa. Mosca. Rochelle, what are you doing? Okay, can we, we can interact with you now. Alright, let's admire. Um, why would she give your mom a background? That's kind of creepy. But that is kind of normal. Uh, bust move. Did I have her hug already? No. Okay. She was just taking a dump right now. You can't go bother her in the bathroom. She might be queefing. Who knows? Hello, Mushroom Head. How are you today? I want to get friendly with you, too. Uh, let's have him admire him. No, 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 no. Admire him. Admire. Admire. Let's see. Entertain him with a busted move. Friendly hug. And they're best friends now. Awesome. Uh, let's have them play something. Let's do. go toss up a ball. Why not? Michelle, oh yeah, wait, 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 Lori, Lori is also a child of Michelle too, so she can like go to her mom. That's the move to her mommy. Uh, the relationship hasn't been too high. Well, it was pretty high, but it's not at its maximum right now. She's like, what the hell are you doing? Kind of weird. Admire your mother. See, wow, she's so green today. It's just like that. Little red riding head. Wow. Why my 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 what green skin you have. Looks kinda sick. Anyways. Uh <laughs> family kiss. Just say hello to your mother. You haven't seen her in a long time. Lori has final exam in one hour. Well she's well, she wants to go to her final exam. She's like, I don't want to be near my mother. I gotta go, I gotta go to my final exam. <laughs> Everyone's at class now. Just Ryan's alone. Um, party's still bad. I don't know why. Are they not having fun? I am paying attention to my guest because I've I've received notes. Okay, there we go. That's that's good. It's not bad now. Oh God, don't kiss him. Um, we're just friends. We don't want to make it too just intimate, unless he wants to be that way. Uh. But there's nothing wrong with it. I support that type of way. Okay. So the party is still kind of not badish. And 
maybe off camera I'll be doing a little bit more speed runs just uh, so that Ryan can finally get out of college, make his own life, come into light, give him a personality, all that stuff. So, um, you're not going to sit next to his mother, are you? Oh, yes, you are. He, he, he wants her. He's thirsty. I'm just kidding. So, yeah, just take note that I will be going through, I'll be playing this family off camera just so to speed things up in general. And they do have final exams in a little bit. And college has been waiting around too long. I said that already, but just wanted to make sure. There's really nothing much to do in university. There's just pretty much throw parties, just go to community lots. We've done that. Um, there's relationships going on. There are homework, write our term papers. Is there anything else that I need to explore during the university expansion here right now? Because uh, if I haven't explored anything, please let me know. If you guys are any university experts, I would really appreciate the feedback. Um, but yeah, I just pretty much explored everything. I think I did. Oh, Ryan has to do his term paper now. Because he is a senior. Write your term paper. And Lori's at her final exam. She should be here at 10 or 11. Congratulations on hosting a terrific party. Your guests had a fantastic time. We finally had a good party at a dorm. Wasn't that amazing? Right, let's just speed through this and wait for Lori to get back. Don't know what to do with her. It's really hard to give your sense of personality because if you don't have an expensive, expandive, expandive, what the flip in my st ugh. expensive, no, extensive, oh my god. An extensive personality, like you don't have an extensive knowledge of how many person what types of personalities there are, it's kind of hard. And at this moment, I cannot talk, I cannot think straight. So for me to try and come up with some personalities is really hard at the moment. But I will surely and try. I should look up personalities on Google. That's what I should do, and then incorporate some of those into my Sims, right? That'd be a good idea. I should Google some that, some of that. But anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Sorry if it was a little bit shorter than the usual episodes that I normally do. But if you guys like the video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you want to continue watching the series or any other series that you are interested in, why not click the subscribe button if you haven't already? And uh, thanks for watching. Happy Saturday once again. Hopefully your weekend will be wonderful and awesome. And hopefully all of you have a wonderful day. So until then, stay stay awesome, yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next episode I upload. Goodbye.